Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Hope uh, everyone's doing awesome. I'm excited as can be with everything that's going on with our network. Um, we had an amazing, amazing opportunity to meet with the founders of the company, the creators of the company. On Tuesday, we had a leadership summit and we got to hear their vision, right? Their point of view, um, their excitement and everything that's uh, going on and why they're uh, super stoked to share with us a bunch of stuff on February 1st, right? That's going to be the start of a new era with our network. It's going to be exciting, exciting, exciting stuff. And the gist of it, so today I want to kind of go over that a little bit, um, just the gist of what happened, what we were able to uh, to find out from them, and, and the vision, right, of, of where things are going. And just understand um, why certain things are happening the way they are, uh, the decisions that have been made uh, to, you know, to really create something that is going to last, right? That That's the key. Um, the end of the day, we want something that's going to be here for a long time, right? For decades, uh, something that can be uh, something we're proud of, something that can be a household name that we can say, yeah, I was part of that at the very beginning. Um, we don't want, I mean, I, sometimes we get so desperate, uh, so, what's the word, uh, impatient, <laughs> because, you know, we want to make money, right? And and we we want to make sure we're not getting scammed, um, that there's not, you know, something, uh, I mean, just in this industry, it happens too often. Right, too, it happens way too often where uh, things are promised and things um, are said, and then they never come to fruition, and it's frustrating, right? And we put our faith and hope into it, and at the end, you know, it doesn't work out, and we have to basically say, "Oops, <laughs> move on," right? Because it didn't work. And these guys, the owners, the the creators, the founders of the company. They don't want that to happen. They don't want this to be some fly by night. They don't want to um, have to have us, you know, move on to something else. They want this to be the last network we ever have to build. That's the goal. That is the end game with this is that we can have something that we can build right now and build it once and have it last and have it last so that we can have financial freedom so we can have time freedom for the rest of our lives. Now, it's something we, we really need to understand that that takes time. You know, it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, when we were building this home that I'm in right now, um, we moved into this home, was it about uh, 16 years ago almost? Wow, it's been a while. But anyway, when we were building this home, right, they gave us some dates. They said, oh, yeah, no problem. We started in, in March, right? Uh, March of, so, be 20 or 2004, right? So in 2004, uh, they, okay, yep, yeah, they dug the hole, right, for the basement and they started building our house. And we said, well, we really, really want to be able to move in by August because, you know, that's when school starts, right? And we want our kids to be able to go to the local school there and not have to worry about any of that. And, you know, and moving around and stuff. And so, they were like, oh, yeah, pff, no problem. Right? We can have it done by August. Easy, right? Easy. We're like, okay. So we believed in it, right? We believed in them. And they were building the house and they were doing it and everything. Well, here comes August. <laughs> and we're like, um, hello, right? We, we need to be moving in here. And they were like, uh, you, know, or, you know, we had this delay and we had that delay and um, you know, we're sorry, but you know, there's this happened and whatever. So we ended up having to move in with my parents for about a month <laughs> while they finished our house. And it was, it was frustrating. You know, my wife was not happy about it. Um, but we did it right. We had to move in there. We had to put all our stuff in a storage unit, um, you know, while we waited and, and so it was inconvenient. Right. But Hey, now we have a house. Now we've been here for 16 years, going on 16 years, and and we love it. It's a beautiful home. Um, you know, we were frustrated at the time, but hey, 
it it ended up being awesome right and, and so same thing same thing with our network this is not something that is just like oh let's you know do it halfway let's you know just kind of see if this will work or whatever uh -uh. no 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 they're building this thing to last okay this is uh this is not your typical you know toyota uh ford coming through the assembly line right that can they can create uh, one car and uh you know in like an hour right no this is more like, you know, uh, a Bentley or, or uh, you know, a Ferrari or something, something that takes literally months to hand make one single car, right? That That's quality, right? That they, they don't mass produce these high quality cars, okay? Uh, Rolls Royce, right? Rolls Royce, they don't call it a Rolls Royce because it rolls off the assembly line. No, no, they're handcrafted right they only make so many per year and all that so that's what we have here this is a rolls royce of companies they are putting together amazing things amazing things absolutely mind-blowing things right and things that are so good so powerful that even me as a master member even me that have signed an NDA with them, they still won't tell me what it is. It's <laughs> like, it's too good. It's too good. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll believe in you. Because I do. At the end of the day, I believe in these guys. I know their hearts. I've talked to them. I know what they're trying to do. Right? I mean, they're awesome. These are not scammy guys. Roger. My goodness, what an amazing gentleman. He's so cool. He he comes and 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 he's just, you know, gives me a big hug and shakes my hand and hey, Jeremy, thanks for you know working with us on this. This is amazing. Look at all the things we're gonna be able to do. And and we hear you, right? And he tells us that we hear you, we we get it, we understand. Yeah, we want to understand your point of view, right? And and what you're seeing in the field and all that. And then uh, you know, Trent, same thing. He comes up and, you know, I'll be talking to somebody. He'll come out and he'll be like, Jeremy, how you doing? Shake my hand, right? Slap me on the back. Oh, Jeremy, thanks for everything you're doing. This is, uh, it's a privilege to work with you guys. You guys are so awesome. You guys are so amazing. Thanks. Thanks for putting up with our crap. Thanks for, <laughs> you know, uh, working with us to to make this a reality, right? And And he's just real. He's just real. And, and he just tells us, Jeremy, oh, this is so amazing what we're doing. And uh, thank you. Thank you for your point of view. Uh, thanks for helping us work through all these things, right? And, uh, you know, this is uh, this is what it's all about, right? This is, um, you know, fintech testing, right? When we're testing the RPA system and, and we're doing it and we're messaging back and forth, it's like, you know, 10 at night, you know, and, okay, you know, can we do another test with Mexico? Okay, let's do it. And, you know, and he's like, yeah, we got the, you know, the bank on the line. We got all these things, you know, and they're, they're trying to figure out what's going on. And, and, uh, and he's like, hey, Jeremy, this is historic. You should save these texts. They're like, you know, historic for when this gets all big and stuff. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, and, and then, of course, uh, all the rest of them, right? Kevin, such a, uh, he's so wise. I mean, that that's, that's the word I'm going to use, wise. He has great analogies, great great stories that he can tell and, and, um, and, and kind of keep us, uh, within the perspective. Right. And I appreciate that from him. Um, you know, and of course, obviously, uh, Richard and, and his passion and, and his excitement and he gets like, there's a little kid just at Christmas, you know, ah, it's just going to be amazing. And, and, and that I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you what it is. They're like, okay, <laughs> it's so awesome. And then, uh, and Troy, just such a good guy. I mean, just wanting to make sure that um, everything's working right, that, you know, nobody's going to get burned, that uh, that we have something that will last, right, for the ages. So that's the creators. They're so amazing. They are, they've got our best interests at heart. They really do. And when they make decisions to delay, right, maybe, or whatever, it's not taken lightly. It's not just because, oh, whoops, we messed up, right? No, that's not what it is. It, it's all about realizing that 
the things need to be done. They need to be, uh, you know, you probably heard the analogy of the, um, you know, the, the souffle in the oven, right? If you take the souffle out too early, it collapses, right? And, and that's the same thing here. We have something in the oven and we can't take it out before it's done because if you do, it will just collapse and it'll, it'll not work. Um, we, we need to have the patience and we can't be second guessing all the time. We can't be thinking, oh, a delay means that there's, you know, they're scamming us. It's not what it means. Not at all. Oh, what they're doing is they're just making sure that it's, it's baked correctly. Right. I mean, no, there's no, there was no recipe for this. What they're putting together, it was not a, oh, put in a cup of that and a cup of that and mix it up and put it in the oven for 25 minutes, right? That's not what this is. You can't just say, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, 25 minutes and boom. And there's so many variables, so many things that uh, can change or be adjusted or, or, you know, things that we run into. This is not just like baking a cake, right? You don't just build a, a new network marketing company and, uh, you know, following a, a cookie cutter recipe. It doesn't work that way. So they give their best guess, right? They give their best uh, estimate on when things can happen. But then if they see that it's not quite ready, then they leave it in the oven a little bit longer, right? That's what you do. You don't just pull it out just because people are starving. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. I don't care. You know, well, they want it to be right. They want it to look good, right? These are professional chefs, right? They're not going to, uh, this is not McDonald's, Okay. <laughs> This is not a drive through right? drive through MLM. No, mm -mm. no, this is, you're at a fancy restaurant. And if the chef thinks that something's not quite right, he's going to throw it in the trash and start over again. And even if you have to wait another 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to get your food, right? Yeah. There, cause it's their reputation on the line, right? That's, that's what they do. And so have patience believe in what's going on believe that these guys are not out to get us they're actually here to help us to provide something for us that's going to last for decades they've got big big plans okay big big plans and they don't want us to be like the typical type mlms out there that skyrocket and then because their product is commoditized, they collapse, right? Because I've seen that so many times. So many times it's just sad and, and it's disappointing. <laughs> um, but it's true. It happens all the time in our industry where a company starts, they have great success, they don't know how to scale, they're based on one single product, it goes crazy, they don't do things right, they cut corners, and it ends up, collapsing happens happens all the time they don't put in the right protections they don't um, create the right culture they let things get out of hand and it ends up dying ends up collapsing and it's very sad so let's just believe in this right we work too hard we work way too hard to have this all of a sudden just disappear on us let's let them do it right let's let them create something that can last for years and decades. Uh, that And that was the, the message, right? The message was, who are we? Who are we, right? We are a marketplace. Our network is a marketplace that shares its revenue. Oh, subscription-based marketplace. I, I got to add that. It's a subscription-based marketplace that shares its revenue with its members through a network marketing model, okay? That's the definition, the de de definition of our network. A subscription-based marketplace that shares its revenue with its members through a network marketing model. And that's powerful. You know why? Two reasons, <laughs> okay? Um, well, more, more reasons. I'll, I'll not stick with two. Let's analyze this for a sec. How many marketplaces are out there? Lots, okay, lots. And, you know, everything from Amazon to Airbnb to 
Walmart, you know, I, there's just tons of them. Alibaba, and there's a bunch, bunch of marketplaces, okay? Uh, Overstock, a lot of them. Now, do those marketplaces share their revenue sometimes? Yes, they do. And they do it based on what we would call an affiliate marketing program. So, for example, you can be an Amazon affiliate, right? You can be a Walmart affiliate. You can be a, an Overstock affiliate, okay? Lots of companies have an affiliate program now. And what that means is simply that you sign up as an affiliate and you now have the right to market those products, right? The products and services of those companies and earn a commission. Now, the difference between what we're doing and what they're doing with an affiliate program is twofold, okay? So these are the two reasons I was thinking. So the first one is usually with an affiliate program, it's a one-up kind of thing. It's like a one-time, right? You get paid once on the product purchase and it's limited to certain products, right? So I go out and I have a database of people. I'm an influencer and I be an Amazon affiliate and I can then recommend, they give me a list of things. I can recommend anything from that list and get paid on it, right? So if somebody comes in through my link and buys that product, I'm gonna get paid. Okay, now, does that customer then become mine forever? No, mm -mm. it's a one-time deal. It's a single product and it's a one-time deal. That's it, okay? So there's no residual on an affiliate program, okay? That's number one. Number two, if that customer goes in and says, oh, I wanna be an affiliate too, can I then get paid on people that he brings in? No. It's one level, right? One level of pay. That's it. So you have no residual and you have no leverage with an affiliate program. Okay. Kind of sad, right? There's other things, right? Where they'll say, oh, hey, bring us a customer and we'll give you a month for free, right? Well, that's not cool, <laughs> right? Like, oh. For just one month, I bring my friends and family. Uh, you give me one month. Yeah. But if they were to say, hey, you bring friends and family and yours is free for life, ooh, that's different, right? That's a different kind of thing. That's, that, that goes into the residual thing. So what our network is offering is, yes, marketplace, subscription-based marketplace that shares its revenue with its members, so all of us, and based on what? on a network marketing platform or concept. Why is that significant? Because now with the network marketing component, we introduce the two secrets of wealth, residual and leverage. Those two things, right? Residuals and leverage, okay? That's what makes it all work. That's the magic. That Those two concepts are what make all the difference in the world. So if we have that. If we have an amazing marketplace that has amazing products and services, and we as an affiliate through a network marketing platform can now get paid when we bring new members and fans, right? Charter members and fans to the network, not just once, but all the time, and not just on them, but on their team and their team and their team and their team, 10 levels deep. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's the difference. That's how the wealthy get wealthy. They figure out a way to get residual income based on leverage. Simple. Okay. We got it. So yeah, there are people out there. I, I'm not kidding you. There was a guy selling an Amazon affiliate training course for like $10,000. He said, come pay me ten thousand dollars and i will teach you how to make hundreds of thousand dollars being an amazon affiliate right uh, that was his deal and i was like wow <laughs> okay right you would pay ten thousand dollars so that you can make a hundred yeah i mean okay yeah if you're actually going to be able to make ten you know hundred thousand dollars off of a ten thousand dollars spend you know spend okay yeah it makes sense but the sad thing about that is that 
you got to keep doing it over and over again, right? It's, there's no residual built into it. So what we have here is a marketplace. And sure, we're in the beginning, right? We only have a few things. We have a travel portal. We have concierge services, our mobile and, uh, and all those things. We have um, perks, right? We're kind of limited. Yeah. But so was Amazon when all they sold was books, right? And now where are they at? So that's where we're headed. We're headed in the right direction. We're headed to where they're going to introduce where we can now get paid residually on some of these concierge services, mm -hmm. right? We can now get paid not just on uh, the global rev share pool, right? But, but that's also coming back, okay? That's going to be huge. But we're also getting paid on the multiple tiers. So, so this is now a leveraged residual income that will continue to grow, right? It's not just based on what we can do and the few customers we bring in, it's what we all can do as a team in a network, it's powerful. So yes, guys, we're in the right place at the right time. That's what our network is. And we are not just the bank. We are not just the rev card. They made that very, very clear. They wanted us to understand and and um, really grasp the idea that we cannot base everything on that. Yes, it's cool to be able to make money on swipes. Yes, it's cool to say, hey, we own a bank, right? But it's got to be so much more than that because what if that product gets replaced by technology in the future? We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know who's going to invent something that could even be better, right? It could even uh, it could disrupt that whole thing, right? That we, we can't base it on that. The power is in the network, not in the bank, not in the card. We've, we've got to treat that as just one more piece of it, okay? And it is coming for sure, 100%. No doubt about it. The bank and the plastic debit card are coming. And eventually, a version of the, the smart card, right, will come. Probably won't look like what we've seen in the original video, right? Because technology changes. And maybe it'll, it'll have something even cooler, right? Even better than what we saw in the video, right? And that's what happens. These cell phones, I mean, they change all the time, right? They're, <laughs> they're being upgraded every six months, it seems like. Right. They're adding faster chips. They're getting better screens. They're doing all kinds of stuff. And so, yeah, by the time it's time to actually create the rev card, you know what? We'll probably add some newer things to it. Maybe take some things out that we decide oh, we don't really need that. Right. So it's coming. It's going to be cool. But that's not the end of uh, all things. Right. And, and no, we, we've got to understand that. The idea behind this is that it's a subscription-based membership and we get paid on that and then we stack the commissions, we stack the revenue by bringing on all kinds of other cool things besides the bank and the card, right? So, so that was the message is let's focus on the opportunity. Let's focus on building the network. Let's not focus on the bank and the card, even though they're coming, okay? They're not coming on the 1st of February. I will let you know that that's not happening. Okay, um, we're still probably uh, at least several months away from the bank and the card. Right, just so that's super clear for everybody. Okay, it's coming. It will come. It will be worth it. But part of the reason for the delay is you may have heard that uh, the company will be going public. Okay, that is something that we were told. To we can share. Um, there was a lot more to that that was shared. In fact, uh, you guys, I don't know if you saw some of the postings um, yesterday about what uh, is happening with the founder rank. Okay. But yes, yeah, uh, those that achieve the rank of founder, and there's some requirements okay, uh, to, to what you need to do. We now have a new deadline. So here's another big announcement, right, is that we have a new deadline to be 
considered a founder rank, which means getting 10 in the pen. And that is March 31st. Okay, so March 31st is the cutoff to get 10 in the pen. And what it means is that if you get 10 in the pen um, by then, okay, uh, in fact, let me, let me pull it up so I read it exactly. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know if they sent this out to everybody or not, but uh, we're going to, I'm going to share this. Let's see. Share my screen. Okay, here we go. So our network founder rank, this came out in an email last night. It says, hello, Jeremy. There's a lot going on this month, but one of the most exciting announcements from corporate is that we are extending the founder promotion. Okay. So what does this mean? It means if you haven't achieved the founder rank yet, you still have time. Now, how does it work? Well, once you have personally enrolled 10 active charter members, you have achieved the rank of founder. Okay. Now, what are the benefits of being a founder? You now have the opportunity to re-enroll yourself in the next available open position in your TBS. Cool. And be qualified for additional uh, an additional bonus that will be announced on February 1st in conjunction with the new compensation plan rollout. Okay, pretty cool. And hint, hint, that has something to do with the global rev share bonus. <laughs> okay, uh, which is an amazing concept. Now, but perhaps the most exciting of all, founders who achieved the rank before March 31st, 2020 will be rewarded with ownership in the company. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we know the company is going public. Okay. So you will be rewarded with ownership in the company. All right. Cool. Okay. So how long do I have to qualify? You have until March 31st, 2020 to be fully qualified. You must have 10 personally enrolled active charter members. Okay. You must be active in the system yourself. Okay. You must have no more than two accounts with your own personal payment information attached to any active charter members in your pen. Okay. And you must maintain the rank of founder for 11 out of the next 12 months starting April 1st. Okay. The bigger we get, the better the opportunities get for you. So ownership in the company, guys. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Ownership in the company. That's huge. It is literally our network. Our network. <laughs> How awesome is that? The company is going public. Yeah. So what we learned at our Tuesday leadership meeting was that, yes, we have some amazing individuals who are involved in taking the company public, okay? Uh, which means that it will be on the stock exchange, right? Means that um, yeah, the, the company will go through all the uh, auditing, all the revision, all the, the, um, the valuation, all the different things that a public company has to go through. So why is that significant? It is significant because it means we are legit. Now, isn't that really what we're looking for? What, what was brought up in the meeting about you know, the importance of the bank and the importance of the card is that it gives it legitimacy. That it gives us something different, something unique, right? We're not just another nutritional MLM. We're not just another travel MLM. We're not just, you know, any other typical type MLM. No, we have something different, right? Our network owning a bank, okay? Now it's a bank made up of lots of banks, but it's an online bank that has real actual U.S.-based banks behind it. And they're putting that all together. And it's real. 100% real. 
hundred percent. It's happening. No doubt about it. Zero doubts. Why? Because it's part of the public play. It's a key component to making the company valuable. And, you know, when they say, hey, we're going to take this company to a public stock exchange, what is that based on? You don't base that on just, you know, less than 20,000 charter members in nine months, right? Uh, based on just, you know, oh, a membership that's got, you know, some travel and some uh, some perks. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. No. It's based on what's coming. It's based on everything that's going on. The bank included, for sure. It's based on new products and services. It's based on new enhancements to the comp plan. It's based on the following. You probably heard that there's three phases. Three phases for the products, okay? So phase one is when you have products that are based on a, a contract, right? Third party provides those products. So you have an, uh, maybe not exclusive, but you have a deal with that third party to provide new members. And they then of course uh, provide a discount and revenue back, right? So there's a revenue share going on. That's phase one. And that's where we're at with a lot of the things, right? Um, phase two, is when it now becomes more direct, right? You have a, a more direct relationship. Um, you have maybe something exclusive, right? Now it's exclusive. Now it's something that only you get, right? Because you've developed that relationship. You've, you've proven your point. You've driven traffic to them. And so now they see, oh, okay, this is a good partnership. Let's let's renegotiate terms. Let's do something more direct. Let's uh, increase potential in, uh, earnings, let's increase potential savings, and maybe even add in something residual, right? Instead of just a one-time. Phase two, okay, we're getting there, right? Um, our mobile, starting that transition into phase two. It's good already, we know. People saving, you know, from 400 down to $200 on their monthly, uh, they're getting free phones, they're getting gift cards, all those things, those are good. But as it transitions now into phase two, and now we can actually get paid a residual on the R mobile stuff. Hmm. That becomes attractive, right? That becomes amazing. Then of course is phase three. Phase three is where it's actual ownership, right? You actually have ownership in, uh, in the company. And so, uh, the idea is, that, or not ownership in the company, but the company owns the product, right? Owns, so in this case, the bank. The bank is fully owned by our network. And so they can do direct deals. They can do direct discounts. They can do, um, you know, they can say, hey, this is how we want to share the revenue, right? Because it's owned now. And there will always be different products and services in all of the three. And not all of them have to start with phase one, right? We could get something that all of a sudden is developed in house that becomes a phase three immediately. And believe me, they're doing that. They've got some that are awesome. So we've got this amazing concept of third party products, of direct type products, of uh, owned, actual owned products, right? And services and everything. And we're able to say, okay. Yes, we have something in all three right now, okay, as we speak, and they're going to be adding much more. And over time, it'll just get huge, 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 right? And it's a marketplace. So now that's when we get into this whole concept of stacking commissions, okay? So if you have, let's just, uh, just imagine in your brain, <laughs> okay, that you have your three people, right? So here's you, okay, and then here's um, George and Mark and Emily, all right? Okay, those are your three. And let's say, okay, George and Mark and Emily, then they go get their three and, okay, so you got three, nine, right? That's your structure, okay? Now, right now, what we've been teaching people is, hey, 
each of those people, right? So Mark and George, Emily, they're they're worth two dollars. Two dollars paid into the team building structure. Okay, so to calculate your commissions, uh, you just do simple math and you say, oh well, if I want to make a thousand dollars a month extra, I need. 500 people on my team, right? So you do the math, you know, okay, 3, 9, 27, 81, um, 243, um, you know, how close? Oh, I'm getting close, right? Okay, okay, I almost have 500 people now. That's good, right? So that's awesome, okay? But it doesn't need to be that complicated. It shouldn't have to be uh, based on so many people, right? And that's kind of the hang-up is that a lot of newer type people they get frustrated, right? Those of us with experience, yeah. I mean, going and doing that, not too hard, right? We get it. We're, uh, we've are we been doing this a while. We can go get three, who get three, who get three, who get three. You know, that's not difficult, okay? Um, but there are some people that are brand new, and they're struggling just to get three, right? So, of course, the company is doing all that can to make getting three super easy, Okay, uh, because obviously now you're making your fifty dollar bonus guaranteed, plus your two dollars per person guaranteed at least. So that's fifty six minimum, right? So your membership is fifty, but now you're getting paid fifty six. So now you're in profit. So the first time, truly in history, that with three, you are making more than you spent. Right? Other companies have tried. A product credit kind of thing, you know, where um, they just say, oh, yeah, you got your three. So now we're not going to charge you uh, for, you know, your own membership. Right. But it's never been to where you got your three and now you're making definitely more than what you're spending. Right? And the potential, even if you stayed at three, it could still keep going. It could be much more than that. Why? Because now you have each of those positions, we have to think of this, how the investors think of it, right? How the people looking at it to take it public think of it. And that is as a profit center. So each position, George, Mark, Emily, each of those positions in our uh, structure is a profit center. Why? Well, because now let's just take Emily, for example. So Emily she, you know, she's paying her monthly, and so that's going to produce $2. Okay, great. But then on top of that, Emily's probably going to go and maybe switch her cell phone, right? So now we add an additional whatever, right, 25 cents or something, okay? Oh, so now it's two twenty-five. Well, what about if Emily also um, bought a car through our autos? Oh, okay. Now that means an, an additional so much, right? Uh, what if Emily... Um, actually started using some of the other new products coming out, right? So the idea is that it now turns into an additional 10 cents here, an additional 50 cents here, an additional dollar here. So now her position, her one position could be worth five, seven, ten dollars, right? Not just two. And then on top of that, her one position, that one profit center, she has the right to go out and enroll fans, free customers, okay? So maybe Emily, since it's free, right? And she knows a lot of people, she could go get 10 free customers pretty easy, right? She could say, hey, do you wanna save some money at the pharmacy on your prescriptions? Do you want to save money on your cell phone? Do you wanna save money buying a car? Do you wanna save money refinancing your home? You want to save money on all these different things, right? And then of course, eventually, oh, do you want to get the free bank account and the rev card, right? So all of a sudden she gets 10. Let's say she gets 10 free customers. And all those free customers start to do the same thing, right? They start to spend with the rev card. They start to, uh, they switch their cell phone. They buy a car. They, you know, go to the pharmacy, all those things. And so it starts to add money into that, right? So now it's not just her, you know, and her, maybe she's worth $7 personally, but now she has 10 customers and maybe the customers are le worth less, right? Maybe the customers are only worth a dollar or two. Okay. But still there's 10 of them. 
So let's say it was worth two dollars from all the other stuff. So that's twenty plus her set. So now that one spot is worth twenty-seven dollars, not just two. See how that works? So now if you have your three, you're not only making you know the fifty dollars, but you're making whatever else it is, right? Those three people, George, Mark, and um, and Emily, all three of them are getting customers. So now next thing you know, you have $30. Let's say it's $30 each, right? So that's now $50 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. Okay, so that's 90. That's $140. And then all you had was just your first tier. That's it. Now, what if Mark, George, and Emily go out and enroll three and it continues, right? So now we're not talking just two dollars a person now we're talking it could be lots of money per person and so now we don't have to think oh i gotta go get 500 people on my team now it could be literally just you know 20 30 people on your team and holy cow look at all the money that that's producing and so that's how the investors look at it that's how you know they're they're presenting it for you know, being added onto the stock exchange is that Hey, each of these potential you know people in the network is actually a profit center, and we're stacking those commissions. We're stacking that revenue, right? And yeah, it could be huge. It could be huge. So, guys, gals, we are in something so unique, so awesome. We'll be able to say we are a public company. And they've gone through the scrutiny. They've gone through the revision. They've looked at all the things. They've looked at all the numbers. They believe in this. Big investor type people are looking at this going, yeah, this is the real deal. Okay. This is not a scam. This is not something that's going to go away um, you know, in, in a few months. This is something super amazing. We own a bank. So we'll be able to say that. We're, we're public. You own a bank. We've got all these things looking at us. Look at how it stacks up. Look at how much you can make on the comp plan. Look at how much people are actually saving on all these different things, right? The perks, pff, just a little piece, right? But we've proven that most people can save at least the $50, if not much more, if they just use it, right? But that's just a little piece. That's just a perk. That's just a benefit. It's not what it's all about. What it's all about is you having a home-based business getting your three, now you're in profit for sure. And you could be making a lot of money as those three go get tons of fans. And then those three get, you know, their three charter members each. And those, and those three charter members, those nine go out and get tons and tons of fans and so on, right? And you literally, you know, you get down 27 line, just three tiers deep. And if you had, you know, 10 fans uh, for each on average, that's over 400 people. Right, 400 people, and if all of them are doing stuff and they're all worth, you know, maybe up to a dollar in revenue, <sighs> okay, that's significant. It can bless a lot of people's lives. So, this is going to get good. It's going to get amazingly good, and it's just the beginning, just the very beginning. And there's stuff that I haven't said yet because Richard won't tell me. <laughs> so. <laughs> guys i'm serious we are in the right opportunity at the right time and we're going to take this global um you guys saw the new country list there's now um on that list um officially there's 79 listed there but if you break it out because one of them says u.s outlying um you know islands or whatever so you could break that out and actually say oh well that's the u.s virgin islands and that's guam and that's um, you know, America, Samoa and stuff. So yeah, we're in over 80 countries. Um, you know, now they've added some new ones. They added Turkey. They added, um, oh, what was the other one? Um, I think it was like Croatia or something. But anyway, so yeah, they actually added some, right? I, I went through it. I updated my PowerPoint slide to match what the new um, thing is. And, and yeah, it's, uh, they added a few. So it's pretty cool, guys, uh, what we're doing. They, they did take a few countries off that aren't being used. They added uh, South Africa. That wasn't on there before. South Africa is there now. So amazing. 
amazing 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 what we're able to do taking this all across the world people all across the world can participate um at least in the uh in the charter member offering using our travel portal using some of the new um international type products that they're going to be introducing in february so yes let's take advantage of this let's take advantage of our three by ten amazing team building structure let's take advantage of the fact that yes you can be in profit with just three people on your team. Let's take advantage of the idea that we have free customers that can go and save money and uh, have a great experience with us and we can make money off of that as they're saving money. This thing is gonna absolutely explode as people realize the potential that we have. And that doesn't even talk about the bank. When the bank comes in the next few months or however long it takes, it'll just be the icing on the cake. Thanks so much, guys, for talking or listening to me today. Hope this was all helpful. Hope it was good information for you. Um, it, I hope it gives you an idea of why I'm so excited, why I'm so stoked about everything, and I don't even know all of it. And so I'm excited for February 1st to be able to hear all the details, what they come out with. Um, it's just going to be up above and beyond what I just shared with you. I mean, what I just shared for you is is beyond belief, but it's even going to get better. So with that, I'll let you get back to your Saturdays. Thanks so much for joining me today and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.